But first, from Fox at 3 o'clock in New York City, big changes are on the way for the U.S. Postal Service, affecting every American who gets mail. The agency today announced it will stop some of its Saturday deliveries as it tries to stem the losses of some $25 million per day. Per day. Under the new plan, set to take effect in August, the Postal Service will no longer deliver letters and first-class mail on Saturdays, but it will still deliver packages, plus priority mail, express mail, and mail order medicine. Everything that makes money. And it would not close any branches currently open on the weekends. Of course, the cuts in service mean fewer jobs. Steve Santani's on Fox Top Story, live for us in Washington. What kind of reaction are we getting there to this? Well, Chef, Democrats tend to oppose this, like Vermont independent uh, Bernie Sanders, of course, an independent, not a Democrat, but he said this will send the post office into a death spiral. And White House Press Secretary Jay Carney seemed to prefer a more comprehensive approach to postal reform. Listen. It would be our preference that that comprehensive package of reforms be implemented for the uh, sake of a stronger future postal service. Uh, but we're looking at this particular action now and, and, you know, can't really evaluate it yet since we just found out about it yesterday. But Republicans largely applaud the post office for being proactive in the face of difficult budget constraints. The Congress, uh, in its wisdom, has tied their hands every which way in order for, uh, for them to actually run the post office uh, in a uh, in a revenue neutral way. And so Congress needs to act. There's no question about that. Well, the post office has taken the initiative and is looking for ways to cut costs, and we're looking at saving $2 billion. That is, doesn't get us all the way there, but it's a good start. And that's just a sampling of some of the reaction you heard on Capitol Hill, Shep.